is Brian here. Uh, do another quick uh, informational video, like a how-to. Um, got a couple of these cheap guitars that you know I might have spent thirty or forty dollars on that uh, bought for parts and modifications and stuff like that. Haven't had as much time to do it as I wanted to, uh, but uh, did something on one of them tonight. Uh, been meaning to do just been putting it off and uh, it's really really easy and quick took me about two minutes and uh, Pass that on to anybody who wants to know how to do it um, the subject is Let's see that is my uh, jet black uh, Memphis uh, early 80s super strat and uh, It's I'm on I originally, I think I got about thirty dollars into this. Is what it cost me. And originally, I was thinking that was a solid wood body. Upon closer inspection, it's plywood, but you know that's okay. I I like the way it plays and sounds. And I bought it intending to, you know, really cheap to do some modifications to it. I'm probably gonna keep those pickups. They sound really good, and uh, the knobs and toggle are good. Um, that's kind of like a, uh, uh, like a, um, some variation on uh, Floyd Rose designs, floating bridge. Uh, if I can get the right bar for that, that should be good. The uh, has a locking nut. I'm missing the screws and the uh, locking plates. Those are easy enough to find. Now, what I did. All right, so stock out of the factory. And see where that little hole is? Right there, you go. Right there on the back of the neck, right before the uh, neck plate. For some reason, and I've seen this on a few guitars, they decided to put the strap button right there. Which, if you're an advanced enough player and you're going to be playing up the neck, just imagine what kind of trouble that would give you if that's there and then you got your strap on it and it really hampers your you know, technique if you're trying to reach up there. So I did that, just kind of all I needed was a, just a regular old uh, Phillips screwdriver, took it out, okay, and then I'm just on because it's got a sharp horn on it. I didn't want to put it right on the end. I didn't think there was enough wood there to hold it, so I put it right on the back of the uh, top horn or the top cutaway guitar. Okay, so all I had to do put my strap button about the spot where I wanted, put the screw there, just kind of give it a tap to make a mark. And then I just took the Phillips screwdriver and I screwed it in. The wood is soft enough, it just, uh, I was able to screw it right in, get it tight and snug, it's in there. Um, and I didn't need an electric drill or anything like that. And I just went in easy. And uh, this is a very cheap guitar, so I wasn't worried about uh, messing anything up. It's really easy to do. And uh, that's just a very easy mod to do. Um, puts a strap in a whole lot more comfortable place, more comfortable to wear and play, and just an easy thing to do. So uh, if you have one of these cheap jobs, you can do that. It's very simple. And that's all I got right now. Thanks. Bye.